I'm here in Tokyo. It has been how many days already since my arrival. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to really film because I've been really busy. I really came here in Japan to work and uh, not really slack off. So uh, a lot has happened, a lot of things. I even got bruises, you can see here. <laughs> I have one here and I even have one here on my leg and I think it came from me uh, trying to manage my luggages and I was so tired that day. Uh, just, it's just too much. A lot of things have happened but I'm here and uh, they've been really taking good care of us here in the hotel. Thank you so much to the uh, staff here. I'm actually here in Keio Hotel Plaza. So it's a really really nice hotel. I'm really really glad that we're here and I just love my room. It's so big and if I'm not mistaken, if not for the pandemic, I think the arrangements should be that I have a roommate here but unfortunately because things happen, pandemic happened, I have to have the room for myself which I'm not complaining. I love it. I love it so much. The first night and the first day that I stayed here in the hotel, it has been, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it has been really lonely. <laughs> and uh, I, it can't be avoided, but I felt the separation anxiety, <laughs> so. But I'm okay now, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to my life here at the hotel by, on my own. I really can't go outside because uh, there's a special instruction for us Filipinos that we have to stay for one week here locked in the uh, room. When the uh, seventh day comes, I'm going to have my RT-PCR test. If it comes out negative, then I can already go out of the room, maybe explore the <laughs> hotel but not totally because we have a strict schedule to follow to have crowd control which is really necessary i'm going to show you the room i'm sorry if there's already things here it would have been really nice if i showed you the room from the first day that i saw it <laughs> but uh, unfortunately that day i was so tired i just really can't do anything if i must say the first time that i saw this room i was really stunned <laughs> I was out of words because it's really it's a really really nice room and I didn't know what to do at first I was thinking what should I do I forgot what to do I forgot to function as a human being so <laughs> I was really rattled at that day it was it was just really a tiring trip and uh, just a lot of things going on so I wasn't able to film that day <laughs> And even the next day and the next day after that. It's been so busy these few days. This is the only time that I'm free. But actually after this, I'm still gonna do some things. But anyway, so much rambling, so much chatting. I'm going to show you the hotel. And I'm really, really sorry if my room, maybe it's a bit messy. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy the vlog. Let's start. Let's go first by the front door. Oh yeah, I forgot to <laughs> say. It's October 20 and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. So we are here in the front door and uh, we're going to start. Uh, I'm going to show you the room. The first thing that you see, there is a mirror here and then there's my luggage. And uh, I'm really, really sorry, but <laughs> here's my trash. They're asking us to segregate our own trashes so that uh, it would be safer for them to dispose and handle the trashes. I don't really mind. I actually love practicing good habits and that's something that I want to learn. So this is the room. <laughs> it's so big. I don't know if you can see, but it's really big. Anyway, we're, we're going to go through each one. So there's the air filter and this is the uh, powder room. So yeah, and Hello, this is the mirror. <laughs> I'm just wearing my t-shirt from my orb before and my and my PJs, my pajamas. So I actually moved this here. It's supposed to be inside the comfort room and also the glass because I also use it to gargle in the morning 
my stuff is there and there's a chair there and a trash can and this is the cabinet where i store some of my clothes that i can hang yes this is this is actually from the uh, hotel it's given here in the room it's a uh, uh, i think it's a yukata and uh my my winter coat my uh formal semi-formal things that i wear for during the meeting but <laughs> it's really it, it has a lot of creases i really can't do anything about it because it's from my luggage and i don't have an iron here so i could at least uh fix it but anyway that's that it's not really that noticeable when i do the zoom meetings and there's cabinets here my shoes there and my big big scarf <laughs> nothing here not really putting a lot of things because after this two-week quarantine i'm still going to pack which is something that i'm not really good at so let's close that and this is the uh bathroom so this is the bathroom and you see oh <laughs> it's the automatic toilet toilet i'm trying to practice my japanese so Please pardon me if I say uh, some Nihongo words from time to time. <laughs> and if I say it wrong, please correct me by commenting down below. So here is the big, big mirror. I'm so fat. You can see my fat. <laughs> and another mirror here. And yeah, my the thing that I wear on my head when I wash my face. The headband. <laughs> and uh my things here if you ever if ever you do see a branded thing here i'm not sponsored in anything just ha just to get it out there towels telephone the beautiful beautiful toilet okay so the flush i was so surprised the flush is here i'm not used to it and it's yeah it is my first time it's heated and uh there is some options here spray and bidet for your butt and for your where you pee <laughs> and then the stop and then the water pressure i am yeah so it's really something new for me and i'm so thankful this exists here this is a wonderful wonderful <laughs> invention anyway let's move on so this is the bathtub and uh, i have stuff hanging here <laughs> The, the towels and the ones that I, the one that I use for scrubbing myself yeah it's a nice thing good thing they have that I I was able to really make the most out of it shower yeah I think that's pretty much much it here in the bathroom so it's a really really beautiful bathroom I love it no complaints and it's just amazing when I'm taking a shower at the back and I'm using a hot water. It gets foggy, except for this part for some reason. <laughs> I think they use something that they wipe to make the glass not foggy. So I don't know, I'm just really amazed. <laughs> it's my first time encountering one. Let's go back inside. Oh, oh no. I keep on finding the light. I'm not used to the light here. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to the rest of the tour. Okay, it's a bit messy now. <laughs> you can see the mess. There's two beds. So if, if not for the pandemic, uh, I would have had a roommate. So that's that. My messy luggage, I put it there. <laughs> Some of my things are here. So yeah, I'm part of the JET program. So yes, it may look creepy to you, but that's my cat <laughs> i really miss kiwi my cat back at home and uh yeah the philippine flag <laughs> i put it there because i do my meeting here on the desk so that uh whenever i have my camera there they can see the flag from from the back so philippines represent yay mabuhay <laughs> So this is the uh, the windows. It's a beautiful view of the buildings, and uh, sometimes from time to time I can see uh, workers there and workers uh, walking down there. I'm going to show it to you a bit later, but here is the desk and uh, TV, Terebi, and uh, that's where I put my clothes in. 
So, this is the uh, mini fridge. There's nothing in here. Just my Pocari sweat and my Jeju aloe ice. Not sponsored, not sponsored. This is just what I use. And uh, some things, mugs, yeah. And the, I think the vault, but I don't use it, so. <laughs> okay, so uh, what else, what else? I think that's it. So there are two couches here. This is where I eat. So I have here my tissue and for, uh, I forgot to use the fork from the meal earlier given. And some chopsticks I requested. And TV, remote control. And let's move to the window. Let's see what's up there. There's the buildings. Buildings, buildings, buildings. And uh, some people walking. Okay, pedestrian. And some cars there down there. So it's just, you can really see life in Tokyo from up here. I'm in the 14th floor. So, sometimes I just look out here and just wonder what they usually do during the day. So yeah, that's my room. It's a big room and I really love, love it here. And uh, they say I'm going to, what do you call this? In Filipino, magsasawa din daw ako. Uh, but I don't know, it's my first time. I still have a few days left before the swab test. If ever, uh, I'll be allowed to get out of this room and maybe do my laundry first and foremost and shop <laughs> because uh, I have some things here that I need to buy. So in case you didn't know, I'm actually part of the JET program batch 2021. I'm not really going to talk too much about it because I think there are better vlogs out there that could really help you out with all of the information that you need if you want to apply. I'm not really gonna talk about much about it. Maybe I'll mention it from time to time. But uh, if you want me to talk about it, then just comment down below and maybe I could make a video about it. But for now, I'd rather focus on just my everyday vlogs. I just want to keep it casual. I don't want to make it too serious. I just want to show you my life here in Japan, how it would be. Of course, definitely, I'm going to learn Nihongo. I'm going to try my best. And maybe one day, one of these days, I'm going to speak Nihongo fully in a vlog. I don't know. Let's see. I'll still think about how my content will go. If ever you have comments, suggestions on what content you want me to do, just put it down there, type it and maybe we'll see if I'll be able to create a video about it. So that's that. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye! By the way, I forgot to mention that uh, if you want to check out uh, the food that I've been eating here in the hotel, if you're interested in that and maybe just my daily life, uh, you could uh, follow me on Instagram. I always post my stories there. You'll be able to be really updated with all of the things that's been happening with me. So if you want, you could follow my Instagram. I'll just put it there so that uh, you can follow me.